Hey guys, welcome back to a, another episode of Minecraft, and if you can't already tell, we have a guest with us, and Mr. Piggy. I'm going to call him Papa Piggy because he will soon give birth to many, many piggies. I don't know if he's male or female, but I don't want to get into that. Anyway, um, yeah, I am out here in the middle of the ocean because uh, I just realized that we haven't seen any animals lately. And for some reason, Papa Piggy was way out there in the middle of the ocean. And as part of the new 1.0 update, not really new anymore, um, animals now follow you if you hold wheat. So as you can see, he's he's dying to get this wheat in our hands. He's just following me wherever I go. So, what I'm going to do with him, as that zombie burns up over there, and there's a creeper over there somewhere too. But what I'm going to do with him, if he would catch up, is I'm going to put him in a stall with another pig piggy, hopefully if I can find one. And they will give birth to many piggies, which I will slaughter all, and I will get my meat. Because I have been running low on food lately due to the animal shortage. So come on, piggy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, now, I've seen some animal farms, my dad has built one himself, and he's gotten a lot and a lot of animals. And in order to do that, he used a, probably a 64 by 64 block space of just flat land that he found. And I obviously don't have that anywhere around here. So, I'm not sure where I'm going to put him. i got to watch out for creepers, too. If anybody kills Mr. Piggy, I'm going to be so mad. Alright. Alright, just got to make sure he's following me. I hear a skeleton burning up somewhere. Oh, there's a creeper up there. Oh, run away. Oh, no. i got to hold the wheat. got to hold the wheat. He's not going to follow me. Hey, good job, Piggy. Good job, Piggy. I can't defend myself with anything but wheat right now. There's nothing. Okay, we're going to make a slow descent so you don't take damage. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I can see the mush house. All right, here we go. Where are you? What the hell are you doing up there? Get down! No, no, no! Come on! Oh, you stupid pig! What the hell is this? Oh my god, this is such a weird shot. All right, just um, look away. Come on! D stop showing your. L let's go. Okay. Ah, oh, you stupid pig taking damage. That's okay. That's okay, cause you're good, right? Stop getting stuck behind the tree. Come on. And there's the mush house. No creeper ambushes yet. I don't want to jinx it. Alright, so I'm not sure I'm going to lead you right now, actually. I think I'll just lead you inside the house for now, since animals don't despawn. So I'm just going to get you inside, probably inside the kitchen. I'm not going to slaughter you in there, though. Oh, actually, no, you know, right here. This is a good spot for you. Yep, right here. You get inside here. Do I have to break blocks for you? Do I have to break down the door for you? you? Stupid pig. And up. All right, now come inside. Come on. No, no, come inside. Come on. Yes, good job. Now, this is gonna be your room for the next six weeks till I find you a mate. That's probably how long it's gonna be. No, no, don't don't let him out. Don't let him out. I need blocks. Okay, now go back inside. Go back inside. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Ha ha! Ha ha! You cannot escape now. Let's place this door back. And now we have caught ourselves a pig. Alright, so now this pig, uh, it's going to bring us lots of food, but temporarily, while we don't have any animals to bring us food, I've gone ahead, and if you see I'm holding some seeds in my hand, I've gone ahead and I went and I made a wheat farm down here. To the left. It's, there we go, we got some wheat. So with wheat, if you get three of them, you can make one bread, which will restore two and a half uh, food bar thingies. I don't know what the official name of that is. Food bar meat thingies, and I just broke seeds by accident. And if you notice, it only uh, give you wheat when it's golden brown, but they will always give you seeds, so it's unlimited resources, so I can just keep doing this. I actually don't need rely on pigs, but, you know, might as well. It's kind of fun to you know, try new things, animal breeding. So let's go ahead and let's store these seeds. And anything else that I'm holding because I don't know what I'm holding. Haven't seen my inventory. Okay, so gunpowder. Lots of stuff here. Wheat. Wheat. Yeah, as you can see, all I have is one raw chicken of animal food. And that's it. Well, not counting the zombie flesh. Or rotten flesh that I probably wouldn't want to eat, but would if I had to. And yeah, that's why I have these fences because I was thinking of making an animal pen back here. But it's not very big. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so, brings me to my next thing, right over here, it's not turning nighttime yet. 
So I was I was thinking um, about how long I've been in this place, and I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move out of this place. I'm still gonna stay here, and I accidentally broke that papyrus at some point. Um, but I was thinking of revisiting our old houses because, if I recall, I love some stuff in the chests. I think some sand, which seems sort of valuable. But before I go, I would like to make a map using these three things. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, uh, before you do anything, you have to make a compass. Like so. There you go, we got a compass. Now a compass will always point to your spawn. So my original spawn is somewhere in that direction, over there. Beyond the mush house. That seems right, I think that's where we came from. And the sand house is somewhere over there. And we're going to go ahead and make a map by placing paper around this compass. Map. Now a map, how it works, is when you hold it, as you can see, it just created this little little circular area on this on this big board. Now as I walk around, let's see if I walk this way, and I look at the map, as long as I'm holding the map in my hands, it will generate more land on the map. So as you can see, I got more blue pixels growing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head out. I'm going to go and I'm going to find our old houses, see what's there, return, and then we're going to go ahead and get to the end, because that is the goal of this game now. But before I go, I'm obviously going to have to prepare myself. I want to do all this off-screen. I think I'm going to save this map whole adventure for next episode. So, right now, I'd like to go find some animals, because Mr. Piggy's going to get lonely. So, it might cut here. I might not, depending on how fast I find some animals. But if I do not, or rather if I do, see you then. I see you, sheep. Oh my god. No. No, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Uh-oh. Oh no. Let's load the map. Let's load the map. Let's load some map. Oh no. Guys, we have some bad news. Oh, we got some chickens. We have some bad news. What we're standing on now means that for some reason, Minecraft has decided to make this place a snow biome. And we're going to get some ice, some snow. Oh, that's going to change a few things. Uh, we got a chicken on our tail. We got two chickens on our tail and an egg. Alright, so we already got some chickens. Let's go bring this guy back. Another egg over here. Another chicken up there. And the sheepy. Let's go get the sheepy. Oh, four chicken! Wow. It's a plural for chicken, just chickens. Four chickens. It's not like chick eye or chickies. Alright, so these chickens will follow us. And we're gonna go get this sheep. And I'm worried about this. You can see the ice just appearing. It's just appearing. Wow. It's gonna change things. Hopefully, not everything gets frozen. I wouldn't like this to be a snow biome. I like to keep things the way they are, but you know. Oh, don't fall in there, chickens. Get out of there. You don't want you don't want to go in the lava. You two sheep, let's go. So now the chicken will supply us with a steady rate of of uh, chicken meat. How'd you call that? Just just chicken. Everything's chicken. There's no chickens and chicken. That's the only way you say things. Wow, they're just circling me. I can't tell how many I have right now. Alright, and also, the nice thing about chickens is that they drop eggs, which will also give you baby chickens. And where did I lose one? Okay, no, there's four. Let's get back home. Uh, without falling off ledges, please. Everybody follow us. Nice thing about animals that they're one block high. They can fit through tight spaces. And, uh, I guess you're gonna go in the same place as the pig. But I got nowhere to put you. Stupid sheep taking damage. Chickens just float to safety. Look at that gliding dude. Wow, this guy crapped out an egg on the way here. He must really had to go. Oh no, stop getting in the way! I'm trying to bust the sheep out of... Come on, come on, get up. Get up, good job, good job. No, don't fall back in there. Come on, yes, good job. Follow me. Come on. Stupid animals. And the sun's going down. This pig is following us now, so I don't know if I want to bring them in here. I'm going to do this. Alright, everybody, follow me. Go up. Go through the hole. Go through the hole. Go through that hole right there. Jump and, jump and try to reach me and go through. Come on, you can do it. Or not. You're stupid. Hey, look, an egg. Man, these guys are just really laying eggs. Alright. We're just going to do things like this. 
gonna break the fence from in here. Bring everybody back in with the wheat. Come on. And we're going to bring everybody inside. And I have to break down the door again. Damn it. Wow, look at all those heads. Alright, everybody's bursting inside. The sheep and the chicken are fighting to get inside. Come on, guys, don't fight. Get in. Good job, good job. And now I'll show off. Oh, let's first let's block this off. No! Don't escape! Don't escape! Come back! Come back! Come back! No, no! Bad chickens and pigs. No, please. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna leave the door for here because there's just an overload of mobs in here. All right, but now I can show off how to breed animals now that you actually have them. So if you take two of the same type of animal and you feed them both wheat, you see hearts start popping out just like you would to a wolf. So if I take two of them, now these two with hearts will meet, and they will uh, go in the corner and uh, do their thing. And when you turn around, you get a little baby chicken. Now, the baby animals are just smaller versions, uh, both bodies that think they have bigger heads, like bigger proportional heads, and they make higher sounds. If you can hear, let's listen. Let's turn up the sound. Oh, did you hear that? That pop, pop, pop. That, that wasn't a chicken, that was a bad pig. Alright, but now that we have, um, now that that baby chicken is born, the, the mothers, or the, 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 okay, no, the father and the mother are now going to follow that chicken and ignore you completely. So let's find two more of them. Alright, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So now they're gonna, okay, turn around, and poop! There's a chicken, another baby chicken. Alright, so we got, we got some harvest going in here. I'm gonna leave these guys. As it is turning nighttime, and in fact, it is nighttime. And it seems that I've, yes, map, sand, pen, pearl, bookshelf, and farm. I don't remember what all those mean. The map, I got that checked off. The sand, we want to go get some sand. I don't remember why. And this thing grew. Alright, so uh, this episode I'll show you guys some animal breeding. Next episode I'm going to be going out doing some map things. So as of right now, this is Electric signing out. Oh, one more thing before I uh, close this video off. I forgot to mention that uh, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so happy to all of you out there who are celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. And it's the day I'm recording this, and hopefully it is the day I'm uploading this as well. Also, if you haven't noticed, um, I my, my mic quality, quality is hopefully better because I got a new pair of Turtle Beach X12s, which is uh, more expensive than my last headset, so hopefully that just means it's better. Yeah. Um, I can't really tell, actually. Uh, but if it's not better, uh, please say so, so that I can go back and start using my old headphones so I can produce the best audio quality for you guys out there who watch this. And also, in a short time, I made a diamond sword. But anyway, uh, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day to all you guys, and this is Electric, signing out.